Hello and welcome to the bite sized section of the Marketing Buzzword Podcast. This is the Marketing Buzzword Podcast, the podcast where we dissect the world's most common marketing buzzwords. Hold on tight. We are about to fly around the beehive to see the latest buzzwords that stuck to the marketing bees. Hello and welcome to the bite sized section of the Marketing Buzzword Project, aptly named Bite Size Buzzword. I'm Ben Roberts, and in these bite sized snackable episodes, I'm going to help you dive deeper into what a specific marketing buzzword means, help you decide whether it is, is or isn't important to your business, and if it is, how you can actually incorporate that buzzword into your marketing strategy. Now, this week, we're going to look at the marketing buzzword personal branding and how you can actually build your own brand, not only as yourself, but actually how you can potentially build it within an existing business. And this is a topic I absolutely love and thrive on. So in this episode, we're going to look at what is a personal brand, why you should build one, how you do it, look at a bit of in-house versus by yourself, and then we're going to look at some of the current common errors that you find with personal branding. So, what is a personal brand? Essentially, it's you. You are a personal brand, okay? It's what you stand for. It's what you believe in. It's what people perceive you as, okay? Perception is reality in personal branding, okay? It requires a lot of the same principles as business branding. It's just simply on a personal level, okay? It's not really about a logo or... the A brand is everything. It's the way you look, the way you act, the way you talk, the way you come across the way you communicate that is all part of your brand because that's what people associate you with people come to know you because you talk in a certain way you act in a certain way you you talk with authority maybe you're a bit shy that's all part of your brand okay it's it's how people paint a picture of who you are and that's why it's so important because a personal brand is essentially a digital or even an, an offline version of you it's how people perceive you and it's that important now why should you actually build a personal brand? Now, think about it in this way. You have a brand versus a person. What's more emotive? What do you connect with more? What if, if a brand asked you for money, even one that you've known for a long time, would you give it to them? Potentially, in, in, I guess, in this context. But if a friend asked you, then you probably would. Again, different levels of personal branding. Again, if you know someone, like them, like them, know them, trust them, you're more likely to do business with them. Okay? It's about those interactions. It's about being relatable. Because people relate to you. They know how you operate. So that's why we talked about we're doing live video, on-demand video. We've talked about other things with other in other episodes that I've done in the podcast. And we look at actually how you be relatable and personable. Because that's what people like about you. People like you, believe it or not. Oh my god, it's it's it's, it's something new and wonderful. But people actually like you, who you are, what you stand for and what you believe in. They're your friends, people you surround yourself with. And you can find these friends, even acquaintances can still find you and they like you because they like the content you're sharing because it's what you stand for, it's what you believe in. It's about people to people, human to human, whichever term you prefer. Yeah, People do business with people, humans do business with humans. You need to communicate in that way. And a personal brand is just a way of being able to communicate person to person. It's how people can understand you. Okay, So when people look at you, they go, ah, or they hear about you, they associate you with a certain word, phrase, or term. That's your personal brand. It's also long term. So personal brand is not something that just you flick overnight. It takes time. Think about through your life, how long it's taken you to discover who you are and when you started doing things how long did it take people to un- recognize that you did it that's the sort of time scales you're thinking of it takes time for people to understand that that's what you're becoming synonymous with it's what you do if you started playing a sport for example for the first time it would take a while for people to understand that that's then become as part of you and it takes time for it to people to become synonymous with you yeah and then people start going oh you're the guy who plays football you're the guy who plays rugby hockey tennis whatever it is but then that becomes part of your personal brand Trust as well. People trust people. People like people. Alright? You building a personal brand, if you're sharing, you're spreading your knowledge, you're you're backing yourself against a term, a phrase, or something you stand for, then people come to trust you for that. That is really important. It's one of the cruxes of why a personal brand 
is really important, especially within and against business brands. So how would you actually build a business brand then? Sorry, a personal brand. Engage and interact. Think about it in the terms of in terms of relationships and conversations. Okay? You engage with people, you have conversations with people, you start to build a rapport with people. The more connect more times you connect, the more times you speak to each other, the more of a relationship you start to build. When you start building that relationship more and more, it snowballs into a into an effect where actually look, they may do a favour for you, you may do a favour for them, I scratch your back, they scratch your I, 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 you know, I mean, the scratching back, the scratching back to him. The idea is actually that it's actually about building those relationships, and that's built through conversations. It's actually, you know, social media is an incredible way of building a personal brand because you have conversations with so many people, and actually, you can have these little conversations. You have conversations more often than you ever have done in your lifetime with different people. You don't necessarily have to build the most deep conversation to build a personal brand, but you have to be talking with people. You have to be not just shouting stuff that's not a relationship that's not a personal brand you could be oh you'd be known as maybe the personal brand of a shouter and people don't necessarily want to yes you might find some people will deal with that but it's not really what you necessarily may want to be known for so you need to engage and interact you need to find something you stand for and add damn value add value so important it's so important that once you find something you stand for you really add value to it because that's what you want to become synonymous with you want to become synonymous with adding value and being good at it okay so you need to think about the consistency and the quality what's your thing what's your medium what is your space are you owning that space are you owning that term are you owning that are you owning whatever you want to own so for me it's a podcasting medium I do lots of podcast stuff because this is the medium that I've chosen that I think best reflects me and my personality and, and how I communicate and hopefully then people will understand that I'm talking about buzzwords, something I'm passionate about. What's you, what, what are you passionate about? What's your medium? And also it's really important to remember, you are what you share. Yeah, absolutely. Perception is reality. If you're sharing lots of stuff, then you want to make sure that it actually resonates with your personal brand. It's because that's what people will know you for. If you're talking about that stuff, you're sharing that stuff, that is what resonates. So you have to be really careful and actually quite sometimes quite calculated with what you share because if you start sharing something that's a bit off piece with what people associate people don't know what your brand is they don't know what you stand for and they may not want to be associated with that you've got to be sometimes a little bit calculated now how does building a personal brand within a business vary to building a personal brand by yourself and i think it's a really important thing to consider because actually when you talk about personal branding, a lot of people say you do this, you do you 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 do consistency, you create content, you find something you stand for and that's all great but actually, when you're within a business, like my, like I am with myself, I really have to balance my personal brand within a business brand. And with that, there you have to have be more consider. You have to be have more considerations. Okay. So, what does the business stand for? And is what you stand for is it aligned with the business? If it is, it's really e- much easier for you to start building a personal brand because you could you're building a personal brand alongside. Okay. It's about it's, if it's tied into the business plan, you're building relationships which can be formed part of, which can be fed, fed back into the business. It's all good because, again, we said people do business with people. And people sell to people because people want to buy off other people. They don't want to necessarily buy off a robot. Yes, they can do for convenience, but especially higher value purchases and higher and purchases that require a lot of time, detail, or a real personal touch. Yeah, people do business with people, and I'm going to keep reiterating that. And it's bit, the difficulty you have as well is is balancing time management. You need to consider this with with a personal brand in there. You need to make sure that you do your job, and your job is there. It, your job is you're succeeding in your job. You're meeting all your goals, your KPIs. But actually, there's a lot of stuff. If you like your job, it's able to build a personal brand alongside. And actually, you should have a chat with your manager. And I'm lucky in the sense that where I am, I can have a chat with anyone else, and they understand that actually where we're building a personal brand aligns with the business, and it's for the business's benefit because people will understand who I am. Eventually, they'll know what I who I am. I work for Talkative, and then that they'll come and say, oh, "Okay, what does Talkative do?" Da, 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 da. As an example, the same with you. You become synonymous with a certain phrase or word or term or idea, and if that's related to your brand, brilliant. You will struggle though if you try and build a personal brand that is at loggerheads or is at odds with a with a business brand. 
And that's where you are going to struggle. And you have to think a little bit more. Please and feel free if you are struggling with this. Please feel free to drop me a message. Ben at ben-m-roberts.com or through the website. Now remember perception is reality as well. You have to be perceived to be doing it alongside like the business alongside the business okay if you are being seen to do stuff that's taking up time away from other things taking away time from your job you have to make either help people to understand that what you're doing is a business function because building a personal brand is a business function and you have to help people to understand because people don't always understand you have to take that time and be really clear in why you're doing it which leads me nicely on to what errors people make to sort of wrap it up and the lack of consistency Doing it for three, four, five, six, ten weeks isn't consistent, really. It's really not. You've got to be doing it. We talked about it's not even the short term or even the medium term. You've got to think long term. It takes years to find out who you are, what you stand for, where you're going. Yes, you can start having clear a, a few ideas in that time, but it's okay to pivot as well. It's okay to pivot. But what you've got to do is you've got to be consistent. You've got to give it a damn good go. Not having a goal as well is a really common error. You've got to think, what is the point in everything you're doing? That everything has to have a point. Why are you building your personal brand? Is it to get more business? Is it to reach more people? Is it to speak more? Is it to sell more? Is it to learn more of other people? What is your goal? Why are you building your personal brand? Why do I do this podcast? Why do, why do I work for the company I work for? Everything's got to have a goal because otherwise you're you're shooting in the dark and you well, actually what are you, even, are you even shooting in the dark? What are you aiming for? You have absolutely no idea. You've got to have an idea of why you're building a personal brand. Do you want to be known? Mark Schaefer's book Known, brilliant for me. I read it and I absolutely love it. Another common error: stretching too thin. Don't stretch yourself too thin. Yeah, we talked about it earlier. What is your medium? What is your thing? Don't try and talk about just say digital marketing. Digital marketing encompasses a huge amount of things. That's not a niche. That's not that's not anything really. It's as that's like almost as broad as you could possibly get. Go deeper into a subject. Yeah? Don't shut yourself to thin. Don't try and do too many medias. Don't try and blog, podcast, do videos, do this, do that, the other. Own a space. Own a space. And the final error that people seem to make is not really connecting with people. Remember, it's not about how many connections you have. It's about how deep those relationships are. How many actual relationships have you built? I know people look at it and say, Oh, I remember my dad used to say to me when I was younger, How can you have like 1,200 uh, friends on Facebook? I mean, I wish I had 12,000 in a weird way, but how can you have 1,200 friends on Facebook? They're not friends. I went, yeah, they're, they're not all friends. They're not. Everyone's not a friend. But hopefully, maybe some of these people will start to like, know, and trust what I say because they'll see that I'm posting stuff on there. And that becomes synonymous with my personal brand. Because people know that I post this sort of stuff and I talk about this sort of stuff. So eventually, if they got into a job or they had got into a role that maybe required this, they I would then be the person they'd come to because I've become synonymous with it over time. And I've built, maybe, maybe I haven't built a relationship, but either I've started building a personal brand, so people, when they see me for the first time, understand what I'm about, they follow me, they then start to like, know, and trust me. That's how a personal brand works, my friends. Absolutely pivotal. That is literally it. So to recap, relationships are key. Have conversations, meaningful conversations. Have a goal. If you're in a business, align them to your business goals. Make sure you're not fighting against each other because you'll find it really, really difficult. You have to be aligned. Consistency and quality. Own a space. Own a medium. Okay, really important. Don't stretch yourself too thin. A guy I'm really loving following at the moment, I'm loving his work at the moment, is John Asperian. I had him on the podcast, I think episode 17 about copyright. I think it was episode 17. And he calls himself the relentlessly helpful copywriter. Check him out on LinkedIn if you haven't already. He's doing some incredible stuff on there. The stuff he's sharing, he's so helpful. We talked about that. He's owning his space. It's LinkedIn. He's talking about it. He's being helpful. Helpful, helpful content. He's having meaningful conversations with people. I'm a huge, I've become a huge admirer of what John's doing. So please have a look at what he's doing on, on LinkedIn and stuff. John Esperian. And also Shep Hyken talks about customer service. Incredible guy. I've been following him for years now. And I love it doing consistency he's been doing it for years and years and years and he's built up an incredible following and speaks at incredible events because he's been doing it consistently over a number of years 
that is an incredible personal brand. Right. Thank you so much for listening. Make sure you check out the podcast. Remember, we're doing two a week. Every Monday, we do an episode edition. Every Thursday, we have a bite-sized buzzword. And please check out marketingbuzzword.com for episode transcripts, other things that are coming down the pipeline as well. And please review this podcast. I really do appreciate it. Go on iTunes and just leave a quick review. Honestly, please, I really, really do appreciate it because I know we're stuck on we're stuck on the number of reviews. So come on, please, if you are enjoying these episodes, please do leave a review. And let me know in the comments or drop me a message if you want me to talk about any other marketing buzzwords. Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.